Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 1 Legendary Edition. Real quick, <clears throat> I was checking on something, right? As one does in the achievements, right? And I was like, because I just wanted to see kind of where, some, sometimes they used to t kind of tell you where you were at with some of them. Um, and I was like, complete the game. Okay, kill 100 enemies with melee attacks in Mass Effect 1, 2, or 3. It doesn't, doesn't combine across all of them, it's or. And I'm like, that's new, you know? Same thing, that was new with the 1, 2, or 3, that's new. Kill 250 enemies, yes. They did, I remember they had a kill a certain amount of enemies, um, in... Mass Effect 1, anyway. So you have, apparently, these ones too. And I don't know, these can't just be the only ones across all three games. These have to be ones that are in one, because I know there's more in the other games. Um, anyway, charismatic, yeah, that's sort of normal. So here's where I'm a little bit upset, is I, I was like, what, I already have the, uh, the ally, like the, the ally achievement for Tally and Rex, and it's because They've changed it completely to complete five missions with so-and-so squad member. It used to be that you had to complete the majority of the game with so-and-so squad mate, right? Which meant, for one thing, it was really difficult because sometimes, like, if, if you just, if, like, you brought out somebody else for, like, their own personal mission, like, Gareth has a personal mission, you know? Um, it could mess up your achievements, right? You, 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 you had to choose if you wanted to do the achievement or if you wanted to bring somebody out on a specific mission for a specific reason. Liara has the same thing, especially because Liara is also the latest companion that you get. Anyway, it was they were kind of difficult to get, and they were at, least, at the very least they were time consuming. But now all you have to do is bring them out for five missions, which I get that they they've changed it potentially so you can bring out like you you you're encouraged to like switch your squad up, right? And like figure out a configuration that you liked but I liked it before uh because like I don't know because it was hard and like because it took multiple playthroughs to get all the achievements like you had to play three times to get everybody because there's six companions right so like you you would play once and you get two and you play the next time and get two more and the next time and get two more and like I don't know to me it just like indicated that you like I don't know <laughs> that I you but like that, that whoever had done it myself included had like put the time in you know to like get these achievements plus like getting the com the majority of the game completed isn't necessarily that easy like you have to do a ton of the side missions and especially the like collectibles ones to com to actually get that completionist thing. Which they do, yeah, complete the majority of the game. Um, which this is nice, I found all the primary codex entries, uh, but I swear there were other ones, I don't know. I feel like they've removed some, and also these, these I swear they've changed. Uh, you sabotage so many times, meta jail, blah blah blah. Um, I feel like they've, they've moved, removed some of them maybe? Maybe not remove some of them, but I swear before it will only, maybe didn't. Cause I remember having a hard, like a hard time with some of these, and I may have actually done it. I I thought it was only if your character could do it, but now that I'm thinking about it again, it might actually be you just have to click on using it. You don't necessarily like have to have a character that's like an engineer or a straight up biotic or whatever. Um, but I almost feel like that's the way it was because I felt like it was kind of hard to get some of these. And now I've gotten, like, most of them. And I'm, like, I'm a little confused. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Like, I... Like, I don't know why they changed these. These, these specifically, like, I don't know why they changed them. Like, I, one of the reasons I liked Mass Effect 1 so much was, like, I mean, it's a small reason, but because the achievements were hand down the most difficult, like, hands down the most difficult to get out of all the games. Just because, not, not even difficult necessarily, but the most time consuming to get, which I, again, I can see why you'd maybe not want to have that. But, like, why change that? You know, like, in the Legendary Edition, like, it kind of, like, like, why change your achievements? You know, like... Unless, like, you've radically altered the game somehow, which you haven't. But now I'm like, okay, fine. I'll freaking switch it up. I'll bring out different people. <laughs> like, in order to get the achievements. Because some of the achievements, as you can see here, with, uh, with, with tallies, the reward is sabotage and AI hacking. Recharge time improved by 10%, which is great. Um, so, some of them do give you, like, in-game sort of, like, perks and bonuses, which is nice. But I don't know. Maybe it's just me being, like, blah, blah, like, change. I don't like change, but...
but I, I do, but I don't. <laughs> you know, like, obviously I really love, like, the upgrades they've done and stuff to the game. <laughs> but, like, I don't know, changing your achievements just seems kind of odd. Like, the achievements have been the same for, like, what, like, ten plus years? Like, why change them now? Like, the other way encouraged you to, if you were a completionist, it encouraged you to play the game more. You know, like if you wanted to get all those achievements, like some, and I swear, like some of the like kill streaks, they weren't even necessarily kill streaks. It was just like it was something that did require you to play. Oh, also, I swear there was an achievement for getting like max level. Like getting up to level 50 and then getting up to level 60, which I could see them changing that or taking that out because of the way they changed the point system, right? And we're doing the new Legendary Edition, not the, leg the Legacy version. Um, I did actually upgrade this stuff. I got some points. Oh, uh, what is it? I upgraded my bear. Did I upgrade anything else? I don't think I did. I think I just put the points into barrier. So it'll absorb a lot of damage. What else did we get? I think I put some into barrier for Rex. Oh no, I got, I think, and I got fitness and barrier for Rex. I got the upgraded fitness. <laughs> nope. And Tali, I also went through my inventory and did some cleaning up. I upgraded Tali's damping because the tech and biotic ability shutdown is gonna be very useful in Novaria in one particular fight. Um, oh, and I upgraded her first aid to get the bonus. Anyway. That's where we're at. Sorry, that was probably like a six minute rant. I'm, I mean, like, there's definitely pros and cons. Like, I'm not saying it was like the stupidest decision ever. But, um, pros and cons to changing your achievements. Or, like, I can see why they did it. But it doesn't mean I like it necessarily. But it also doesn't mean that I'm like, oh my gosh, this is the worst thing ever. You know what I mean? It's just like, oh, like I worked really hard for those. <laughs> you know? Like back in the day on the regular uh, 360, I played on the 360. And I worked really hard to get those achievements. And I've been working this whole time trying to get... Uh, these achievements that I was telling you guys about. I'm like, okay, we can only bring out Tally and Rex, and that's it. You know, and now I'm like, well, frick, I'm gonna change things up a bit. <laughs> like, I don't even know. Who should I bring out right now? We gotta get some, get some, uh, I almost said airplane elevator talk, you know? Might as well bring some new people out. This is forever, it just messes me up. Um,. Were you here earlier? I don't think you were here earlier. Um, but yeah. Anyway, we're going to the Citadel because I'm going to drop off the two quests that we have now. Uh, Villem's, Villem or whatever his name is. Let's see. Let's try to bring in Ashley. Ashley and Liar. Hang on, let me, now I gotta mess with like configuration. This would be an interesting one. Um... I have no... Okay, so Garrus and Tally are the ones with tech. Well, actually, I mean, just for conversational purposes, Ashley and Garrus might be pretty interesting. Sure. And honestly, like, it's not bad to have our combat strength be that high. I'm the only biotic in this. Equalizing Wait, interior oh, pressure geez. With now, I, oh, God, since I, oh, geez. See, this is, oh, my gosh. If I end up, to, oh, my gosh. If I have to take them all out. In order to get the achievements now, I have to take everybody out. And this whole time, I've been, like, chucking stuff out that doesn't, like, because I'm, like, I'm not going to bring anybody but, but Rex and Tally out. Now i got to freaking... Now I gotta do everybody's squad points and everybody's equipment. Oh my gosh. Okay, hang on. This might just be this might just be a <laughs> Inven not inventory, was it like a cleanup one? I don't know. Shotguns unlocked. Alright. I, I don't I probably won't give her shotguns. She would be my 
assault rival and a little bit of a sniper rival. Wait, no. Oh, geez. We definitely want to pit that out. Adrenaline burst. We want fitness 100%. Mm, first aid, I'm not actually that concerned about, but I do want heavy armor for her. Uh, first aid, always night. I think Garrus is Garrus. Garrus does have first aid. Okay. Um. Blow. I don't know. It, it, it'll take whoever's first aid is the highest. Um. But, saw rival. Sure, we get that. Um. Sure, we'll get the assassination ability. No. Okay, that's fine. Fitness, Fre freaking fitness, because she's gonna, she doesn't have nearly the same health pool that Rex does. Okay, we'll just make her like overall a powerhouse. This is like the, you know, weapon damage or melee damage. This is her health. I won't necessarily worry too much about any of these. Uh, let's give her the advanced shield. Uh, you know, let's just give her carnage, I guess. Da, 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 da. She's not even a field bag. I have no idea why she's got first aid. Um, oh, and she only her and Garrus are technically, I think, the ones to capable or who have sniper rifles within their like ability range. Like that, they actually you can put points into. What else? Do we want? Fitness. Okay. Respectable. Respectable. Okay. Sniper rifle. See, Garrus is who you want to put sniper rifle points into. Not that you even really use it much, I think, to be honest. I give me medium armor. Assault training. Give me the burst. Damping. Yes. Advanced sabotage. Yes. Turning agent. Yes. First aid. If he's gonna be my tech guy, he gets to have a lot of points in tech. Advanced shield boost, advanced assassination. Electronics, oh frick. Mm, one, two, three, four, sure. Okay, that's that's decent. It's fine. Cash equipment though. Give her some armor. I know we have heavy armor for humans. Why can't Oh this is not I'm like, why can't you wait? Uh, let's just get that one equipped and see where it go. Yeah, that one used to be like way highlight yellow. It's it's chilled out. See, this doesn't make any sense. Like, technically, this one's like a little... Well, I mean, the damage protection. The shields are nice. Maybe I should look and see for me how it is. The Scorpion? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, look at... Look at these! I loved being a soldier because you get these nice beefy arm plates. It's so nice. Shield modulator, sure. Is that what we or no? That's the one she's got. Damage protection, sure. And I was getting rid of a lot of these ones that are very low. Uh, oh god. Oh my goodness. I won't give her the best sniper rifle. Just give her a good one. Scarus. Quick. Armor, we did that already. What about? Sure. And then. How about? No. No. Uh, Sure, I guess. Mm -hmm. uh, 
shredder. This is organics. I don't really like that. Like necessarily, like unless I'm like gonna change it myself. Look at this. I'm like running out of mods already yet because I've been trying to get rid of them. Mist. Cryo, sure. Ooh boy. Even have I don't think he technically he's he's see he's a saw rifle and sniper that's right oh and we should definitely give him one of those Trip incendiary rounds yes the incendiary rounds are great actually in Mass Effect 2 as many of us know um, those become an actual ability not just something like an equivocal item. Oh, actually, with the sniper rifle. That might be, actually, let's equip that on there. But the sniper rifle, we want. We do not want minus heat absorption. So none of these we want for the sniper rifle. Anything that would increase, like, stability or accuracy would be what we want. It's our, the sniper rifle's worse than the shotgun for, like, how hot it gets, how quickly it gets. Huh? Blah 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 blah. Exterior <laughs> atmosphere. <laughs> oh wait, I've read Log. The commanding up. Hang on. Am I... <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yes. There we go. Wait, wait, wait. Uh. Okay, it's actually not. That's not bad. Okay, yeah. It doesn't have any tech or biotic protection, but that's okay. All right. Ashore. Get freaking. Exo Presley has the deck. Garrus, I'm so sorry. You look ridiculous. Garrus looks better in the darker ones. Look at the lighting. This game. It's so beautiful. He's my team. My team is so bright. Let's see if they'll chat. After years of poor Dang economic it. performance, Exogeny has announced that its research colony on Pharos is finally returning a profit. New discoveries and a dedicated colonization effort have finally paid off for Exogeny. Exogeny's stock rose sharply with the announcement, with investors pleased at this surprising news. Man, I should have invested in Exogeny stock before this. Of course, my shepherd gets, like, freaking loaded. Uh, dun, dun, dun. Here, let's sell some things while we're here. I think we have access to specters. Like, I know we have access to some specter stuff when we're on the ship. Hello, Commander. Show me what you got. Show me what you got. I'll open the rare stock. <laughs> He's like, okay, and like pulls out a pistol and is like, let's go. Look at that. <gasps> it's heavy armor. I'm gonna buy it. I bought it. So, I'll, I don't even know if I have junk, but I, I don't even know what the definition of junk is. Where? God, I don't even know. I don't even know what I can sell now because of because of everything. Because 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 now I have to I have to equip everybody, which normally I would do. Like I do that in Dragon Age, but in Dragon Age I switch up my companions a lot. Well, I kind of have like a you know like a rotation that I do. Uh, we want to go... Let's just... Well, no, we want to take elevators. So I want to get the chance of these guys to chat. Since I did all that effort, the... Uh, no, this is the wrong one. I want to go to the Presidium. Well, actually, I want to go to the markets, but... Presidium is a central location, and I can pretend I know what I'm doing. To war, that's exactly. I'm surprised to see you on the front lines, Chief William. What? Most women I've observed in your lines, military, serve in support. What? 
It's becoming more common, but it took a long time to prove that ladies could handle an assault rifle or a shotgun. Ladies! I doubt anyone who saw your skill under fire could remain skeptical. Ah, oh, nice. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's true, right? Like, women in the military is still, like, for some reason, people take issue with it. <laughs> it's like, stop. It's not your business. <laughs> uh, so she wants to wield a shotgun. Don't get in her way. But yeah, no, that's fair. And it made Gareth look like a jerk about it. I was just mostly surprised that it was like... That that was still a thing in the future, but you know. You can keep the Presidium. This is where the action is. Did we leave Gareth's behind? Did we... Oh, there he is. If you feel lucky, we should visit the casino over in the front. Yeah. Ah, uh, Presidium. No, I want to go over here, yes. We do actually want to go to the Presidium. And then get up to the tower, to the council tower. But I want to go check this place over here. This is an there he is. Oh wait. A bank statement. It showed that I bought something from you, and I bought it. Well, thank you for buying from me, but this still doesn't prove that you purchased that item from my store. But I didn't buy anything else here. How do I know that? If you don't have the proof of purchase, I can't help you. What? <laughs> Sorry. It's a long-running story. Here we go. Hey, Commander Shepard, uh, 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 There are rumors on the extranet that you've been made the first human specter. That's incredible. Rumors? Being a specter is a big responsibility. I just want to make humanity proud. The vids are all talking about Commander Shepard fighting for all of us back home. And your that. grace and skill have inspired a whole legion of admirers, too. <laughs> hey, can I get your picture? Uh... Uh, sure. No problem. Just hold up your gun. Perfect. What? I'm just doing this in, like, a freaking crowded area? Thanks again, Commander. I'm gonna hang this in my living room. My wife will love I'm it. I'm sure she... Well, but okay. Do you guys say anything about him? A lot of traffic no. here. How fast do you think those cars are going? Because uh, that leads me down. If I go down oh, there. Sure. I can that. Oh, yeah. Thanks. Hasn't worked well since I bought it. Hey, are you refunding his stuff? Yeah, you. You did! You took his return! Look, I'm telling you, I bought this here. Why won't you return it? I can't take it back unless you... I know, I know. Unless I have a proof of purchase. It's just... Why? Why make such a big deal out of it? Especially when you know, in the end, that it's an item that's not of great value. <laughs> The markets in Cora's Den. I'm curious if we bring Garrus. If we bring Garrus back to the med clinic, because in later games, this, you find out that this doctor woman actually had a uh, she had a crush on Garrus. Let's see. Oh, replenish. I'm gonna jump. Just scare me. Do you have a, 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 a freaking grenade replenishment? I never properly thanked you for saving me from I think you spots, did, actually. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't been there. You're a doctor. How did you yeah, end up here yeah, on my the parents, yeah, uh, My father. Yeah, yeah. I chose to keep the medical tradition alive, but not the military. Late, Fixing up wounded. Late, I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. Nice talking to you. Anything you want, you can find for sale in the wards, legal or otherwise. Legal or otherwise. Gareth does have a nice voice. I can appreciate the man's voice. How do we freaking get to the Presidium from here? Do I have to go back? Oh, hang on. We got a map. Lower Margas. I don't know. It's a Presidium. I was like, is it through that long alleyway one? This one? Am I doing it right? This is the one we came in. Yeah. No, this is right. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let's see. Yeah. 
Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alliance officials have raided a dangerous cult controlled by a former no, Alliance no. officer, Major we Kyle. We didn't raid it. Major Kyle surrendered and is now being treated for severe post-traumatic stress disorder. Yeah, we freaking talked in raid. Oh, my chair is like, oh geez, my chair is going down. Um, get me out of here. I need to go. Isn't that? What do you say we head down to Cora's den after she? Sounds good. Some of the others are going for a Novio's farewell thing. Damn, I forgot that was today. Where's he going again? Novaria. Oh, uh Novaria. Novaria. You don't want to go there. Isn't that the frozen planet? Don't, don't do yeah. it. Well, I wouldn't go, but I guess the pay's pretty good. Huh. Don't do it. Reporter Kalisa Algilar recently attempted to land an interview with Commander Shepard, the first human specter. Commander Shepard answered difficult questions, demonstrating <laughs> that under that military uniform is a keen diplomatic indeed, mind. Indeed, indeed. We'll have exclusive footage later today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She attempted to land. I, I did the interview quite nicely, I, I must say. She just kind of came off as a, I don't know, being angry. I totally just, uh, where my brain just like a totally short circuited. This place is a little too perfect. They're hiding something. <laughs> the ambassadors have this beautiful park to relax in, but most of them are too busy to ever use it. We want to go up, 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 up. To the Citadel Tower. We've been getting a lot of news bursts. Let's see if we can get... Celebrations are being planned for the anniversary of the end of the Rachni Wars. Many council worlds, particularly Asari and Solarian colonies, will hold victory parades to commemorate the defeat of the invading Rachni. You better invite the Krogan. In a rare admission of debt, several Asari oh, yeah. colonies have invited Krogans to be honored for the victories the uplifted Krogans made possible. They're gonna show up and they're gonna crash the party 100%. But like, you know, maybe not in a great way, but also they're just like, they're, they're boisterous people, <laughs> you know? Like maybe, yeah, they'll be like, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna make this a night nobody forgets, but it's not necessarily gonna be like, cause you guys are dicks to us, but even if it was a dicks to us thing, like that, that's fine. That's, you know what I mean? But mostly they're just really rowdy and like drinking. Any news? Did you find my brother yet? I found your brother's body. His ship was attacked by privateers. Willem's dead? I guess I should have expected this. When his ship dropped out of contact, I just knew. But I kept hoping he might still be alive. I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you for finding him. It's better to know one way or the other. That's what they say, right? I think it probably is, but it's Please also... I'm not sure. I need to go make arrangements for his funeral. If you don't know, it's like, oh, maybe there's hope that they're still alive, you know, but... At the same time, it's excruciating not knowing. Not too many people have free access to the tower. Even less get permission to meet the council. I'm trying to tell if that guy's head's just really shiny or if he's got, like, a silver streak in his hair. What are those cherry trees? Um, anyway, that's all for this episode. It was mostly me ranting and trying to figure out what to do with my squad mates. This doesn't count. It's not a mission. But all these side quests that I have will count as missions. So. <laughs> Talking to Kyra gets creepier and creepier as you go. <laughs> um, but yeah. 
Now I'm like, oh crap, I don't have nearly enough side quests for all of these guys. But I know I'll get some more. But anyway, now is that time in the video where I want to thank my patrons who are ever so kind and wonderful and lovely people. And I just appreciate you so much. But individually, I want to thank Reese Galito. Once again, thank you so, so much for your sapling contribution. You're a beautiful little sapling. Thank you so much. Um, and the other the other sapling is Scalamunger, who is also a magnificent, beautiful sapling. Is going to grow into, like, the most beautiful tree. <laughs> but anyway, thank you so much. Um, both of you, and a thanks to, I guess I shouldn't say you're gonna, oh, I shouldn't, I'm, the tree, <laughs> thank you, I messed up, <laughs> thank you so much, Christopher, who is a tree patron, I appreciate it. you are a magnificent, awe-inspiring tree, and, and I appreciate you so much, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I love the little, like, little seedling, sapling, tree, or maybe it's acorn, is it acorn, <laughs> sapling tree, I think it's adorable, um, and the forest metaphor is great. Anyway, thank you all again to Reese Galito, Scalamunger, and Christopher. I appreciate you guys more than you know, truly. Um, it's just really awesome. I, I, I wish I could have better eloquence, but I don't. But thank you so much, uh, everybody, for being patrons. And for everybody else, thank you so much for watching the video, and I hope to see you in the next one.